So you've been captured by cannibals in the Amazon. So you have two options. You can either persuade them to let you go, or you can think of an escape plan. So what would you do? Three, two, one. If I were captured by cannibals in the Amazon, I would tell them I was dirty and I had never showered before. And they'll think, ew, you were dirty. I don't want to eat you. Or I'll just say, hey, I've got so many weapons. I can kill you. Or, and then they might let me go. Or I might just run away and hide somewhere and wait till the night till the cannibals go to sleep. Or I can just, maybe I'll say, hey, I'm part of you guys. I can eat people too. And then I'll just eat uh, people, dead bodies maybe. Or I can just uh, catch a bird for them and say, hey, this is part of my body. You can eat this. You, this, is, this is so good. You can eat this. And that's what I might do. So. Uh, those are my plans, and thank you for listening. So the first thing I noticed was the hand gesture. You clench your hand like this, so your hand couldn't move at all. And like I said before, you want your hands to be as free as possible when you're doing public speaking, so that you can use them to express. The second thing was the eye contact. I noticed that you looked at the ceiling or at the floor more than you looked at the audience. And you always want to look at the audience. It's, very, it's, it's, it's a very common problem with beginner speakers when they think they look at the corner and look at the ground. But try and think and look at the audience at the same time. The third thing was too many points. You have way too many points. You, you just said, I would do this, I would do this, I would do this and you really didn't get into the details of how you would execute them. So I would have rather you told me a great story than just saying these points. And when, you, when I give you these topics, you don't have to answer it. It's not like a question or answer. You can tell us a great story. You can, you can, you can play around with it. You can say, I've already, I've already escaped these cannibals. This is how I did it. So you can, tell us, you can tell us in story form. But you don't have to say, what would I do when you answer it with a question? It's not necessary. Approach the topic in a way that you feel confident and you can answer the topic confidently. Okay? So, yeah, otherwise, great job.